Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so happy you found me. I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful Dollar Tree Coastal Seahorse Swag. I made this beautiful swag using many of the products that Dollar Tree is now carrying in their Shore Living line. Let me show you how to make it. For this project, you're going to need a rail, and I made this one using a five gallon stir stick. Now, if you have not seen me uh, make one of these in the past, I will put a link in the description box to a short video that'll show you how to do this. If you do not have access to the description box, you can also look in my playlist under tips and tricks for beginners. You're also going to need some deco mesh that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Now this is one of the new colors that they came out uh, this year in their Shore Living line. They're just starting to get this out and into stores. You will need two rolls of that and a roll of white and something to measure with. Now when I work with more than uh, one roll of deco mesh I, at a time, I like to separate them out so that they don't get tangled. So I'll put one out on either side of my body and then either one here on the table or one right down in front of me. So I'm going to put them off the table so it's easier for me to work with. And then you want to take the ends of each of the rolls and scrunch them together. Now you don't want to layer your mesh. It'll make it much more difficult for you to separate out your loops. So you want to just kind of scrunch them together and get them side by side. Just like that. Okay, and then you're going to pinch it. Just come in about an inch where you can get it. And then you want to measure. And you want to measure at about 12 inches. Pinch again, and then you're going to bring the two pinches together so that you have a loop here at the top. Now the top of your rail is where your hanger is. So you're going to start in this first loop. And the cut ends are going to go down. So take your loop. Place it in between your pipe cleaners. Pull it nice and tight and give it a twist or two. Okay, then you can kind of just open up your loops. Fan them out. So you can see all of the color. Just like that. And then you're going to grab your mesh and you're going to measure again, pull all three together. Measure again at 12 inches and pinch. Then you're going to go to the next pipe cleaner where the pipe cleaners are facing up. So right across the top here, you're going to drop that down in between the pipe cleaners and give it a twist. Now, uh, as you work your way down, because you are dealing with two different colors, just as you open up your loops, just move the white so that it's not in the same place each time you drop down. So this first one, it's in the middle. So now I'm going to move it to one side and then have the two green. Otherwise, it'll look like you have a stripe of white and that's not the look you want. Okay, so I'm going to work down measuring at 12 inches and I'm going to go right down the center with the pipe cleaners that I have facing up. For 
for your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials I used to make this seahorse swag. I've gone all the way down the center and now I'm going to come up this side and I'm going to do the same thing. Just keep measuring your poofs at 12 inches and then pull it to whatever side that you're going to go up. And once you get to the top, you'll come around and come down the opposite side. If you enjoy hauls, crafts, and learning new craft techniques, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload new content every week. And if you hit the notification bell when it pops up, YouTube will let you know every time I upload new content. Okay, so I'm up here at the top. Now, as I move over to the other side, I'm going to do a pit stop again here in the center. So I measured my 12 inches. Come into the center here. Give another twist or two. Measure again, and then go to the opposite side. And then work your way all the way down to the end. Okay, so I'm up here at the top and my white is a little bit shorter than my green, but that's okay. Just pull whatever, if this happens to you, just pull out the shortest one here at the end. Line up the other two with it. Okay, so just go all the way to the end and then place it in the center here at the bottom. And you want to pull those ends so that they're facing inward so that you can hide them in the wreath. I've tied it with the ends facing down and now I'm going to trim off the excess. You still want to leave about an inch because you don't want to pull, have it pull through on you. So just go in and open up and separate all of your poofs and fluff out your swag. So I have those three rolls on. I have everything open and I like the width and everything, but because this color is so light, I can still really see through it. So I'm going to go over it one more time with three more rolls. So I have my three rolls open. I've squished all my ends together. Let's start it just like I did last time, measure out at 12 inches and then bring the two together. But this time, instead of starting at the top, I'm going to start here at the bottom. Just remember to place the ends facing down. And 
and then pull it nice and tight. And then as you go over, you'll want to trim down your pipe cleaners, twist them together, cut them till they're about a half inch, and then push those down so that you won't be able to see them. And then open up your poops. Now you can open up your poops as you go, or you can get your mesh down and then go back and open up your poops. I usually do a section and then go back and open up my poofs. Um, that seems to work the best for me, but whatever works for you. So I'm working on going around my second time with my deco mesh. Now the very first loop that you measure for here on the end, you want to keep that at 12 inches. But then as you move forward, you only want to measure your loops at 10 inches. We want to get it a little bit more dense and filled in so that you can't see um, the back. So I did my first 12 inch loop here in the center and then I did a 10 inch loop and I moved to the side. So this time instead of going down the center first, I'm going to go around the outside and then down the center. And the reason I'm going to do that is because these uh, poofs are going to be a little bit smaller. They're going to be up on top of the other poofs. So grab, measure at 10 inches, and then lift up and go over the 12 inch poof and attach it. This will give you better coverage and it'll look much denser. Okay and go all the way down. When you get down to the end, go to the center and then go to the other side and go up. Then go back to the center and then go all the way down. Measuring at 10 inch loop. So I have my base all done and it took six rolls, three rolls and each time I went around. I'm really happy now. I have a nice thick base and you can't see through it. Go ahead and set this aside. Now this is the sign that we're going to be using. I picked this up from Dollar Tree. This is uh, one of the new signs in their shore living. I thought it was absolutely adorable. Now to prep it to go on the swag, you want to remove the jute cord. And then I ran floral wire through the hole, wrapped it around over the top and twisted. And then down here I glued on two pipe cleaners. So I have three areas here that I'll be attaching it to the swag. And I really do like to use a combination of pipe cleaners and floral wire because if this goes outside and things get too hot, the hot glue can fail and this way it won't fall off because it'll also be attached with the floral wire. And I just use the floral wire that you can get from Dollar Tree. They have several different colors to choose from. I prefer the silver. Now I want to place my sign a little down from the top because I want to put a bow right up here at the top, but I don't want it to go past the bottom. I still want to see some mesh down here at the bottom. So that looks about right. And to attach it, you're just going to move the mesh aside and feed the pipe cleaners and the wire down through the mesh to the back. And then you just wrap it around and attach it here to the piece of wood. See how nice and clean the back looks when using the paint stick? So I have my sign attached. I'm really happy with that. Then here on the back where the wire was, once I cut it and folded it down, I did put a little hot glue over that because I don't want anything on the back that could possibly scratch. But I think that looks great. Go ahead and set this aside. We're going to work on the bow now. I found this really beautiful ribbon at Dollar Tree. It's very textured, very lacy. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I think it's perfect to go by the sea. Uh, they had several different colors. They had this off-white, they have white, they had a dark brown and a green. 
And I'm going to use this one that looks very natural. I think it will go well with the sign and the rest of the color. We're going to be using the Easy Bow Maker. I really do like this. This makes it very easy for me to do a bow. I have a lot of arthritis in my hands from doing hair for as long as I have. And so this helps me hold everything. So measure out your tail at eight inches and then place it down between the two large dowel rods. And then I'm going to measure my loop at four inches. So measure four inches and then pull it back through. Now you'll want to make uh, two loops on either side at four inches. Okay, now that you have your two loops on either side at four inches, we're going to add one more loop to each side at three inches. Okay, once you have your two loops at three inches, Go ahead and measure out your other tail at eight. Now you can adjust your bow while it's here in the bow maker. Kind of separate the two larger loops that are in the back and place the smaller one in the center. If you need to do any adjusting, now is the time to do it. Then you want to take your pipe cleaner and just kind of lift up the side and slide it in. Pull it up and around so it's tight. And then lift up your bow. Wrap that around and pull it to the back. You want to get that nice and tight. And then give it a twist in the back. And just play with your bow again. Make sure all the loops are where you want them. I like to hold in the center when I do that so I don't over pull any of the loops. is what your bow should look like. Now I want to place my bow right up here at the very top. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the pipe cleaners, feed it through and attach it to the piece of wood in the back. Okay, so I have my bow on. Now I do like it, but it's just not enough. So I went ahead and made a twine bow and I'm going to glue this right on top in the center. 
I really like that. I like the textural differences and I like that it's a little bit darker. Just add a nice amount of hot glue and place that right in the center. And here on the ends of this ribbon, I did just cut them at an angle. I really like that. Very pretty. I think that looks much better. Now the final items that I'm going to be adding to the wreath to finish it off. I found these really pretty, uh, what do you call it? Sand dollars that you can get at Dollar Tree. You get three in a pack. This is part of their new shore living decor. And these are a little on the heavy side. They also have some little starfish and you also get three in a package. So I'm going to be adding those. And then I also have this bag of shells and I believe I picked the shells up at Dollar General. But Dollar Tree also carries shells, so you can use either the Dollar Tree ones or whatever ones that you have at home. So I'm just going to pull some of these out. I really like them because they have a lot of different types of shells in there. And I'm going to be attaching everything to the wreath. Now how I'm going to be attaching them, especially these because they're heavy, is I'm going to be using a combination of Aileen's tacky glue and hot glue. And the reason why I'm doing that is because hot glue tends to be temperature sensitive. And if this wreath goes outside or maybe even goes into a bathroom uh, where it can get moist from people taking showers or it being outside and it getting too cold or raining, hot glue can fail. Uh, Aileen's tacky glue is supposed to be weather resistant. So once it fully dries and sets up, whether it gets really hot or gets really cold, it's not going to fail and your item is not going to fall off your weed. So that's why I'm going to use a combination of this and hot glue to attach my items. So I opened everything up. And I found this really pretty shell and I want to place that right in the center of my bow. For that, I'm just going to use the hot glue. You just need to hold it in place till it sets up. These sand dollars are rather large and they are kind of heavy. So I'm probably only going to use one or two of these. And you definitely want to use um, the Aileen's tacky glue with this. The hot glue will give you that immediate hold and then once the Aileen sets up, it'll be good and it should be weather resistant. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my embellishments and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. And here you go. We are all done. I'm really pleased with the final product. I absolutely love my bow. This new ribbon from Dollar Tree is awesome. I think it's perfectly suited for coastal decor. I love the sea foam color. I think it brings out that color in the sign. Now, I did use all three of my starfish, but I only used two of my sand dollars. And then I did use several small shells. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. And if you know anyone who would like my content, please share it with them. Thanks so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time.